Hey, I'm Mike Mandel. And I'm Chris Thompson. We're hypnotists and hypnosis trainers, and we teach people how to communicate hypnotically. But we've also been told repeatedly that hypnosis is manipulative and wrong. And people have been going out of their way to manipulate us into thinking that hypnosis is manipulative. So we're going to manipulate you right now to consider another viewpoint. But we admit it, so it's okay. But hang on a second. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. Oops, I was just manipulated into saying that. He's correct. But in all seriousness, this video is about hypnosis, communication, and manipulation. And we often laugh at some of the comments on our posts and videos. For example, we promote these hypnotic language cards as a way of practicing hypnotic communication. And people comment that hypnosis is always manipulation and we should stop doing it right now. But is that really true? And what is hypnosis anyway? And come to think of it, what is manipulation? Well, the dictionary says manipulation is to control someone or something to their own advantage, often unfairly or dishonestly. So saying hi to someone is not manipulating them. That's because we're not taking advantage of someone. It's not unfair or dishonest. And if this was manipulation, then all communication would be manipulative because we're always trying to get a response. It might be useful to just change the way you think about hypnosis. Stop thinking of manipulation and instead think of amplification. Hypnosis is an amplifier of experience. Whatever a person can do, you can probably do it better in a hypnotic state. Maybe that's why you'll never see hypnosis described as manipulation in medical journals. And yet, people naturally enter hypnosis all the time. You can be in hypnosis when zoning out on a long drive. Or cheering for your favorite sports team. And that's because hypnosis doesn't mean you'll have your eyes closed and look like a zombie. So now we're saying that hypnosis is an amplifier. By using hypnotic language, we can engage someone's emotions to motivate them to take action or change how they feel about something. I wonder when you'll realize this is how advertising works. But can't hypnosis be used to control people, Mike? Well, people are constantly emailing us with links to YouTube videos proving that hypnosis is mind control. And to that we say, you have to check mm. the facts. After all, it's YouTube, not necessarily TrueTube. But don't get the wrong idea. We're certainly not knocking YouTube, are we? Well, definitely not. We have a lot of videos and our own podcasts there. We love YouTube. So if hypnosis isn't manipulation, then what the heck is it? Well, let's keep it simple. It's really all about communication. But it's a very special kind of communication. The kind of communication that helps people change their minds. The bottom line is a hypnotist helps a subject become receptive to suggestion. And this is true either for a formal therapeutic session or a conversation designed to help someone change. And hypnosis makes it more likely that someone will act on something that is suggested. But even when the subject is in that receptive state, it doesn't mean that anything goes, right? Right. The subject has a part of himself that's always observing. If that part doesn't like what's being suggested, he'll either ignore the suggestion or emerge from trance. So if there's only the illusion of hypnotic control, why do people in stage hypnosis shows do crazy things like quacking like ducks? Well, a person in a stage hypnosis show does crazy things because he knows he's in a stage hypnosis show. He isn't being manipulated at all. That's right. People volunteer for stage hypnosis shows. But what about hypnotic language? There are decks of cards you can buy that teach you to speak hypnotically. Well, yes, there are. And in fact, we created our own awesome deck of hypnotic language cards, but it still isn't manipulation. And that's because even though the language is designed to connect with the deep mind, and even though it's conversational hypnosis, it's still a conversation. It's a conversation that's awesome. Imagine being able to hold someone's focused attention and elicit emotions that help them to make positive changes. Would that be useful? That's conversational hypnosis. Hypnosis is awesome, and it's much more than helping people to quit smoking. It's a powerful tool that can enhance healing. And that's not all it can do. It can reduce physical pain, get rid of social anxiety, and cure phobias. It can be used as an anesthetic in dentistry or surgery, and help athletes and actors perform at their best. And it can help you perform at your best. And that's why we love hypnosis. We love teaching it to students from all around the world. So hypnosis isn't manipulation. It's only a tool, like a hammer or a wrench, but it's a powerful tool that can fix problems and build a better life. 
And best of all, you can use hypnosis to manipulate your own life. So visit us online at MikeMandelHypnosis.com.